now we welcome uh, rahim ali qamar who will be speaking on task allocation in multi robustic system for sar application uh, are you seeing my screen yes sir it's visible now you can proceed. yes sir okay thank you uh, my name is rahim ali qamar and uh, the topic of today's presentation is task allocation in multi robotic system for search and rescue applications this is the scheme of the presentation we are aware that population in urban areas is rapidly increasing and in the event of a catastrophic event such as an earthquake it is important its impact would be profound in such circumstances the primary goal of disaster management organization is to preserve human life and ensure access to essential survival needs hence linking modern technologies such as uavs to search and rescue operation is essential for preserving human life search and rescue operation can be performed either by a single uav or a multi uav system where each each system has its own advantages and disadvantages a multi uav system has obvious advantages like it is cheaper in cost than a single uav system fault in one or more uav do not hinder performing other uavs and uavs work in parallel which reduces overall support time there are two component of search and rescue operation first is locating the survivor and second is providing support services in this presentation we are only talking about the task allocation task allocation is the capability of a multi robotic system to allocate specific task to individual uav <clears throat> in 2021 406 disaster events were reported worldwide which affected 100 million people and causes huge economic loss and nearly 66% people are affected in asia similarly this slide shows number of disaster events occurred per year from 2002 to 2022 which reflects significant of search and rescue services therefore the objective of the present study is to study multi uav system behavior for time critical applications that is search and rescue scenarios and to maximize the number of allocated tasks using different task selection methods along with their costing mechanism <coughs> this is the system model for the present study here at urban disaster environment is shown and affected people are distributed in the area uavs are serving the people in terms of providing food and medicine the central server broadcast all survivor related information to uavs and uavs communicate with each other for allocation of tasks <clears throat> suppose there are n number of uavs and n number of tasks that is survivor there is a deadline for each task and if a task is not started before its deadline it will be considered fail similarly each uav can perform a maximum maximum of n number of tasks and each uav maintain its assigned task in a task list the environment considered for this problem is static that is no new task can arrive during task execution and the presented algorithm is tr max allow algorithm which is a maximum task allocation algorithm to a multi uav system the baseline of tr max maximum task allocation algorithm is performance impact or pi algorithm the performance al impact algorithm is a distributed task allocation method for multi uav system under time constraint scenario such as search and rescue pi algorithm is based on performing task at minimum cost where each uav has a deadline and and uavs deliver food and medicine to survivors and it is a static task allocation algorithm uh, this is the optimization problem of pi algorithm 
its objective is to perform some of assigned tasks to uavs at minimum cost subject to the constraints that constraint one each uav can perform a maximum l number of tasks and each uav must start each and each task must start a task before its deadline otherwise it will be considered fail and uavs either deliver food or medicine so each survivor is supported according to its need by a compatible uav it is a basically heterogeneous system and one task can only be assigned to one uav this is the main algorithm running on each uav the main program consists of task inclusion phase and communication and conflict resolution phase in task inclusion phase each uav adds a number of tasks in its task list based on the minimum overall task cost and when task list is full or no more task can be included it share its task cost vector with other uavs and each uav compare received task cost vector with its own vector if a task assigned to it is at minimum cost it will retain that cost it, it retain that task in its task list otherwise it will exclude that task from its task list the task inclusion and com conflict communication and conflict resolution phase keep executing until no more task can be included <coughs> with this figure pa task inclusion phase is described in first row uav has three tasks in its task list and time required to reach from one location to next location is also given suppose we want to include a task t4 in the task list and assume that a task can be included at all position in the task list and also confirm all the constraints if that if we consider that task to per, task duration to perform at task location is zero then time to perform three tasks in the first row is 210 seconds in the next four rows it is shown that task t4 is included at different task locations in the task list it is clear from the figure that when task t4 is included at first position minimum overall cost is increased which is 70 second and for task t4 position 1 is selected for inclusion in the task list and we name this increase in co uh, uh, cost as uh, performance impact uh, i in inclusion performance impact value mathematically first equation gives increase in cost when task is included in the task list second equation gives minimum cost produced by a task at any location in the task list in this way each uav calculate ipi value of all tasks which are not assigned which are not assigned to it and stored in ipi vector the third equation describes that when that a task from ipi vector is selected for inclusion in the task list which produces maximum cost difference with respect to the global task cost vector and accordingly update its global task vector for for communication to other uavs the same task inclusion uh, inclusion procedure is described in algorithm form <coughs> sorry this is communication and conflict resolution phase where each uav compare its maintained global task vector with received global task vector from other uavs and and remove its assigned task if cost of received task is less than its computed value we have also identified several issues in pa algorithm like it allocate less number of tasks due to its task costing mechanism and it can not, it cannot allocate tasks based on multiple task parameters like if a task has a priority and if we want to allocate a task based on a priority it cannot allocate it only allocate task based on its task cost and it cannot allocate task uh, when it is performing during task execution and in in this present in in this presentation 
we are only dealing with sub optimal solution problem and present a tier our tier max alloc maximum task allocation algorithm in order to solve sub optimal solution problem produced by p algorithm we introduced a second phase of task allocation after task allocated by p algorithm in second phase which is a tier max alloc phase we introduced task reassignment whose role is to create space for unallocated task and this is achieved on the basis of task cost reduction mechanism and three task selection methods which will i will describe in later slide <coughs> this is uh, the objective of uh, tr max alloc algorithm was and the objective is to maximize the allocated task the constraints of the tr max alloc algorithm is same as that of pi algorithm actually task allocated by pi algorithm are at their minimum cost and cannot be assigned to other uavs at higher cost since in the considered scenario tasks are subject to their deadline we have to devise a mechanism to reassign already assigned tasks to other uavs at higher cost this is achieved by novel task cost reduction technique which reduces task cost below their minimum computed task cost with this technique assigned task become reassignable <coughs> the task reduction of task assigned task is done at pass the equation where global computed minimum value is decreased by scaled locally computed value three task selection methods are uh a used one is task selection based on minimum minimum cost second is task selection based on uh its distance from an unassigned task and third is task selection based on distributed b algorithm <clears throat> these are configuration of uavs in the environment during task execution phase which describe which uavs communicated with other uavs during task allocation in this slide the generic simulation parameters are given like speed of uav duration to perform each task a task deadline which is uh, which is taken random for each task and task area for the said problem the proposed algorithm is evaluate, evaluated by taking different parameters of task and uavs and compared with baseline pi algorithm in this slide algorithm are compared on the basis of task performance with respect to topology alpha and beta are parameter of uh, district uh, task selection based on distributed b, b algorithm <coughs> proposed algorithm allocates in this in this slide we we see that proposed algorithm allocates more number of tasks than the pi algorithm will all three task selection methods and the computed cost by proposed algorithm is higher due to increased number of allocated tasks similarly similarly task selection based on distributed b algorithm gives maximum increase in allocated task for a single scenario as compared to reported improvement in other algorithms which is highlighted in red color similarly in this comparison in this slide uh, a comparison of increasing number of tasks and uavs presented where number of uavs are taken as 6 8 10 12 and 14 and number of tasks are considered for uh, considered at multiple of 2 and 4 we see that in this scenario uh, uh, tasks are multiple of uh, multi uh, twice multiple of a number of uavs and in all cases 
uh, proposed algorithm algorithm is better than the uh, baseline pi algorithm and this is same is the case for uh, multiple of uh, four uh, number of uh, uavs and this is our conclusion the proposed compromise pi algorithm perform better than uh, baseline pi algorithm and simulation result demonstrated a maximum performance of 22% in task allocation as compared with the pi algorithm and we in future we want to utilize different meta heuristic algorithm as static uh, as task selection method in tr max algorithm for performing improvement thank you thank you for your enlightening presentation sir does anyone have any questions or comments for uh, uh, mr rahim ali khamar before we move forward sir thank you for your kind words and participation thank you